In this video, we will create a simple sheet metal part as shown. In this part, we will make use of base flange and tab and slot feature. Let's get started. Sketch a straight line on the front plane. Set the dimension to 100 mm. Switch to sheet metal tab and select base flange stroke tab. Set the thickness to 2 mm. Adjust the depth to 30 mm. Leave other parameters and settings as default. Click OK. Click on the top face of this base flange feature and create a sketch of a vertical line at the middle of the part. Again, switch to sheet metal tab and select base flange. Ensure the thickness is 2 mm. Also, set the depth to 30 mm. Click OK. Now, we have the two base flange parts mated to each other by virtue of sketch relation. We want to create tabs on one part and slots on the other so that the two bodies can be interlocked. Under Sheet Metal tab, click on Tab and Slot. Select this linear edge as the tab edge. For the slot face, select the bottom face of this first part. From the preview, it's clear that the feature will materialize. You can vary adjust various parameters and settings under the property manager. Let's set the number of instances to 4. For the tab length, let's put it as 3 mm. You can change the edge type, but let's keep the default one for now. For the slot, let's put an offset of 0.1 mm, and set the corner type as the first option. Click OK. As you can see, the tabs and slots have been created and the bodies are now interlocked. You can see that the offset we specified was applied. You can edit the part to remove offset on the slots. You do this by clicking on the first tab and slot feature on the design tree. Select edit feature. Scroll down to slot and set offset to 0 mm. Click OK. And now, the offset has been removed. Hiding any of the bodies can show the tabs or slots created. 